How do you find cone volume? Imagine holding a party hat or an ice cream cone and wondering how much space is inside. Calculating the volume of a cone helps you understand how much it can hold. To find the volume of a cone, you need to know two things, the radius of the circular base and the height from the base to the tip. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to its edge. The height is the straight line from the base to the tip, perpendicular to the base. The formula for cone volume is quite simple once you get the hang of it. You take the radius, square it, and multiply by pi, which is approximately 3.1416. Then multiply that by the height. After that, you multiply the whole thing by one-third. Let's break it down step by step. First, measure the radius of the base. If you only know the diameter, which is the full width across the circle, just divide it by two to get the radius. Next, measure the height from the base to the tip of the cone. Now square the radius by multiplying it by itself. For example, if the radius is for centimeters, then for times for equals 16. Next, multiply that by pi, which gives you about 50.2656. Then, multiply that by the height. If the height is 10 centimeters, multiply 50.2656 by 10, which equals approximately 500 to 0.656. Finally, take that number and divide it by 3. So, 500 to 0.656 divided by 3 equals roughly 167.552. That means the cone's volume is about 167.55 cubic centimeters. Remember, this formula works for any cone with a circular base, whether it's a right cone with the vertex directly above the center or an oblique cone where the vertex is off-center. If you only know the slant height, which is the diagonal side from the edge of the base to the tip, you can find the height using the Pythagorean theorem. Just subtract the radius squared from the slant height squared and take the square root. Understanding how to find the cone volume helps you see how it relates to other shapes like cylinders and spheres. A cone is like a pyramid with a circular base, and its volume is always one-third of a cylinder with the same base and height. This connection makes it easier to grasp the concept and do calculations quickly. So, whether you're measuring an ice cream cone or designing a sculpture, knowing how to find the cone's volume is a handy skill in geometry. It's all about measuring, multiplying, and dividing to find out how much space is inside.